I want to show you how to do this. Well, not quite. That will come in your own training, but I do want to teach you how I learned how to do the bridge rotation, right? So these are the methods I did. I'm sure there are plenty more other methods, but mine was one of gradual mobility, range of motion, uh, working through strength there, and a little bit on technique. So all you'll need for this literally is a floor and a wall. Optional is a chair and a tea towel, like a kitchen towel. Honestly, you do not need much. So before you learn the bridge rotation, it's a good idea to be able to do the bridge. Of course, this is a bridge rotation. Why try the rotation if you can't do the bridge? Definitely a prerequisite for doing this movement. Now, I've included a few uh, nice wrist warm ups I do with my clients as well as the shoulder warm ups. As you can see, this, br this bridge, this movement is very intense on the wrists and on the rotator cuff set and the shoulders, right? Um, obviously with the rotation in the bridge, we, we're here in, in this position and it's externally rotating. This is internal, this is external. And externally, it's quite a harsh movement. So we do need to make sure we've got the mobility, that we've got the um, strength and the flexibility to do so. If you push it, you will separate a shoulder. I've done this here on my right shoulder. It's painful, do not do it. Take your time. Progress naturally with it, nice, slow, natural pace, um, but that'll be all good. So starting with step number one, of course, we're gonna do the wall assisted bridge rotation. Now, as a kid, I remember going up on a tree or a wall and walking down into the bridge, and that's actually how I learned how to do the bridge. I walked backwards and moved my feet out and gradually got into that bridge position. So that's very naturally why I've chosen to do the wall rotation or the wall assisted rotation, where you stand fairly close to it, you're popping one hand down, palm to the wall behind you bring the other arm here and bring it over around the top creating a nice arch and then bring the other arm over to match because this is the exact movement we're going through you're opening the chest up you're moving around the shoulders there some again external rotation and mobility through that it's, it's a tough movement to do uh, but while we're doing this, what I'm making sure is I'm pushing my chest forward and to open the shoulders essentially. And on top of that, I'm rotating my pelvis forward and tensing my abs in order to take the stress away from the lower back. A lot of people will bridge with the main arch being in the lower back. You want to try to get it to the thoracic spine, the upper spine there, to really push your chest essentially through your arms. Um, but that's the first step, right? Now, as you probably could have guessed, we're going to be progressing this down the wall, just like you might do with push-ups or something similar. So we're just going to go lower. You step out a little bit further, you bring your hands a little bit lower, and that's going to be the exact same movement. Again, making sure your feet are planted nice and strong, your hands are pushing strong against the wall. There will be more pressure needed to be placed on the hands and feet because you are in more of a bridge position. You can see this does look a lot more like a typical bridge. So you need to make sure your hands and feet are very sternly placed there, very strong in that position. Uh, the bridge rotation is the exact same there, one hand on, arch, other hand over and repeat. Um, this is a nice one just to practice again and again and again. Once you've got that basic one, you shouldn't really push past this. Um, if you need this to be a bit more intense, bring your chest closer or bring your back to your upper back closer to the wall and step a little bit closer forward. That'll make it a bit harder for you. Um, for the mobility on your shoulders there. So that's a good one. But essentially all we start doing from here is we start working down towards the, uh, the bottom of the wall there because that will then be very similar to a normal bridge. Now, something I do is the low bridge rotation and the low bridge. The low bridge is very common in capoeira and floreo type movements and in the movement culture. And I don't do it to maybe a capoeiristas um, standard. Um, the way I do it is very simple, the way I've learned to it and the way my body's comfortable doing so. I feel strong in that position, so I continue doing so. So essentially the low bridge, the knees are way over the toes. You're pushing all the way out the knees there. The hands are very close to the upper back as you're rotating through. But as you can see, my upper back does not touch the floor. Um, but the rotation is very similar for this. We get as close as we can to the floor and the bottom of the wall and we rotate. Um, but essentially, once you've got these movements, you may want to try it now on the floor. So when I'm doing this on the floor, something that's really important is actually pivoting a little bit 
on the base hand. Because you can see here, I have to rotate the upper arm in order to open my shoulders to actually get into the bridge net. This is something where a lot of my clients have found they have a sticking point. And the best way around it, very simply, is to go back to the wall, keep doing your rotations, maybe step a little bit out further so you've got a nice long bridge shape, so you can really get some pressure on those hands as you're trying to rotate the arm round. Um, but it's very important that you do get that pivot in a nice, gentle, controlled manner. And one last tip, I guess, when you're actually doing the bridge rotation is the entire time you want to be pushing the chest through the arms, again, rotating the pelvis there, tensing the abs, and essentially just making sure most of the flexion is still in the upper back as opposed to the lower back there. But that is a bridge rotation. I hope it goes very well. Let me know if you've got any questions. This is a method I learned to do, and it was one of just progression all the way through. Um, so yeah, have a lovely rest of your day, and I will chat to you later. Have a nice one. Oh, by the way, if you're still watching, thank you very much. I want you to keep an eye out for my training app, which I'll be publishing soon. It's basically an online training app where you can have all these videos and the exercises in a structured training plan method on my own personalized app with every step-by-step -step direction there. It's a wonderful, wonderful way to learn. I have a lot of online clients currently doing it, not necessarily for movement, but more so for kind of like um, just typical weight loss and training and strength and muscle building. This is one example here of the entire layout of the app there, it tells you how many reps to do, how long you should be doing things for. You can track everything, video for every exercise and direct access to me with form correction. Not launched yet, but let me know if you are interested and I will get you more details there. But until next time, have a lovely rest of your day. I'll see you later.